Welcome to the Daily Download. I'm Bob Baker. Uh, and this morning I uploaded a new video to my YouTube channel. It was my uh, personal tribute to Louise Hay, who I greatly admire. And I used my voice to highlight like 10 of my favorite affirmations of hers. Um, and I got a comment uh, on that video that I've seen many times over the years, especially since I've been doing posting publicly these these affirmations and uh, like a, a couple of the Louise ones that I highlighted were all is well in my world uh, another one is uh, uh, everything is always working out for my highest good and so people especially if they're new to affirmations will question that and they'll go is that really true is that real being realistic I hear that a lot um, and so I wrote some notes uh, this morning uh, in my journal related to this that I once want to share with you because I think they could help if you're having similar thoughts. And so here's what I wrote. Saying uh, the affirmations like that, it doesn't mean that everything is always perfect, nor does it mean that you will never encounter challenges or things that make you feel sad or frustrated. It simply means you are choosing to look for the good. You are choosing to see the blessings in your life instead of just focusing on the setbacks. Um, you are choosing to find the hidden opportunities in adversity. So uh, I never encourage anyone to bury their head in the sand and to ignore uh, negative feelings or to just discount uh, things that uh, where you feel disappointed in, the, in the, the decisions that people make or some, some of the curves that life throws at you. So I wrote, you can acknowledge and recognize negative circumstances without wallowing in the agony. There's a difference here. So I encourage you to feel the feelings. I mean, learn the lessons, fully embrace uh, what you're feeling uh, and what you're going through. Uh, but then... I have right here, move on to do one of two things, either find solutions to this current or new challenge or to miss a move on with your life. And this is very circumstantial. Uh, for instance, if you or a loved one uh, suddenly finds out about a new, like a health challenge that just came up, um, obviously you're just like, I'm just going to move on to my life and be happy. In that situation, you're going to be proactive and you're going to find solutions. Okay, how can we do, how can we remedy this? Uh, how can we, uh, what's the new way we need to interact with each other uh, and ourselves with this new information or this new chapter? Um, in the case of maybe losing a job or a relationship breakup or something like that, if there's no going back to those things, then similar, like, like how, do we, how do we navigate this new chapter of our lives? And then you do move forward with your life. So here's something else I wrote. Don't make loss or lack or anger part of your story, because that's the, 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 the mistake I think a lot of people make. Don't make it part of your identity. There's a difference between acknowledging something uh, that went, it's not positive, and then growing and evolve it from it, or, and evolving from it. Uh, and there's a difference between that and continuing to carry the heaviness of it. So again, don't, just don't make that thing part of your story. Choose transformation and learn to thrive is what I wrote. So that's how you can embrace these affirmations that, you know, all is well in my world. Um, I hope that gives you some perspective. You're just continuing to choose uh, and be uh, intentional about the way you look at the world. And it'll make those speed bumps and those challenges we all face and those emotions that we deal with uh, a lot easier, I believe, to weather. So those are my thoughts on that. I would love, as always, your thoughts. Feel free to leave a comment uh, wherever you can on the page here, and I'll be back real soon with some more inspiring thoughts. All right, so long for now.